Policy Reform Committee, which actually fleshes out <coughs> these priorities which we're discussing tonight. So frankly, Mr. Mayor, I think this is a rather pathetic amendment, I have to say, <coughs> a great respect to the party opposite. Uh, it's a shame that they don't take advantage of the opportunities to engage. You know, um, you know, we, there's an old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I, I honestly believe that uh, we have tried to change the culture of this place. I will continue as a leader to go on providing opportunities for all parties to contribute to, to uh, debates about where this council is going. It's just a, a sad, very sad in my view that the, um, the opposition party, for whatever reason they may have, are choosing not to engage. Uh, and I think that's very sad for democracy in this council chamber, frankly, uh, Mr. Mayor. So, uh, we won't be supporting the amendments. Uh, I will move the, the corporate plan as tabled with the amendments uh, as uh, included in the supplementary report, which can be agreed this afternoon. And I'm taking on board Councillor Burkrit's additional amendments. Uh, was kind enough to give me a fax notice of this morning. So I so moved. Thank you. Basic areas 
It needs to show that it can collect rubbish, it can clean streets, it can grip roads, it can uh, people are entitled to uh, safe streets with properly lit and so on. To show that actually the public, are, those are certain things that the public expect the council to provide. And if we can't do the simple things and the basic things correct, I don't believe the public will have confidence that you can do complicated items or stitch together a set of uh, performance criteria around uh, this, these sets of wishes you actually have in this particular project. So, Mayor, fundamentally, my problem with this particular uh, plan, and I think it's fair to say that those views were made clear, because we did take the opportunity to have the public to have a briefing and to discuss these elements and some of it might be new to you as well, but it won't be new to the chief executive in terms of some of the things that we said we believe we should see in that. Um, is a plan must have measures of success. It is for, you know, we'll develop this, we'll extend that, we might maximise the other thing. Well, what exactly do those things mean? Where is the detail? Mr. the mayor, where is the beef? Because at the moment, these are a set of well-meaning words, none of which are particularly exceptional uh, or, uh, or not to be expected in one of these documents. The only sadness for me is, along with some of these words, we don't know what success looks like and it uh, hasn't been identified by the administration. Mr. Mayor, as I say, in the document, we know what it is that's been done, but actually, I think we should be referred back so as we can all see what this actually means. Because it will only be when the measures are clear alongside some of these elements, we will know exactly what it is that the council is driving at. Because it remains for us. And could I just, because I know um, I don't feel like to look back at uh, previous sets of capital benefits and so on. And I'm <coughs> sure it was at, at, at or even 12. Yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, just when he kept it. I'm sure he will give credit to the previous administration for one that set the council on its path for a living wage, to actually put the resources into the budget to make that, to make that happen. So I, I'm sure he will take that opportunity. I also hope he'll take the opportunity to well, welcome Councillor Matthew Patrick to the council. As I understand, this is the first council will have attended and congratulate, as I do, on what was an excellent result and well thought out. But I'm particularly pleased to serve this. Increased our share of the vote, but I'm also there was a real good result. And even if you're leaving, well, 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 give me a back in. I certainly welcome you to the council. I'm working now. But now, it was remiss of me, and Jeffrey did very well with it. Can I uh, welcome you, Council? Matthew Patrick, into the this sort of chamber, because I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself. <laughs> it does get real much at times. I will be, uh, I, I do my best to try and keep uh, an even, even keel in relation to the way we sail forward. But welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Right, any speakers? We've already had the seconds. Yes, by me and Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, the It's open and available to all of the public and rural who would like to attend, albeit there are many tonight. Uh, but by the virtue of the internet, I think it would be open to a wider audience than otherwise present. And uh, actually, I think it's a shame we're not able to provide that possibility as well. Mr. Mayor, the additional items presented here are generally recognisable as the rises from the discussion that I took part in about families and well-being in every evening. But there was one other clear message that I heard as well. And that was the concern that these ideas and objectives will need to be put into action on the ground. And this, this, action, this aspect will be taken up by the Conservative Amendment tonight. The items described that uh, this year we will need to be able to be clearly visible to members as they unfold. And I would expect the Policy and Performance Committee to be looking for reports against this plan to see what progress is being made. And as much of the content is quite general, it will be difficult to develop, to maximise, expand where we come. Answers themselves are very clear and not precise, and they will be open to interpretation. Members will be particularly concerned to understand how this plan will affect their residents. 
Mary, in every organisation, not everything goes quite right, does it? We certainly know that on this occasion, huh? And in my ward in the last few weeks, a vulnerable person was left at risk of losing support and help because of a miscommunication. So my concern, Mr Mayor, is that this plan has to translate all the way to the front line and it's only there that members will be able to know how it's being delivered. Yes, we need this clarity and these informed measures. Mr Mayor, making grand speeches won't do it. Blaming the government won't do it. Action and effective management may do it with adequate measures in place. And members will continue to hold these steps into account for what happens while they're in control. Look at the baby and you look at it, shall we throw the whole baby out or the whole back? 
water. On this occasion, the prologue doesn't mean throwing the whole thing down. It means trying to narrow it down and get it something workable that can be grasped. And that can inspire the people to work. Councillor Hale. Mr. Baird. Start to break down when we get to the priorities. 
I start to lose sight of that moment where the council of guilt is.